Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Marek Mularczyk from saitraining.co.uk and from photoshelightroombridge.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you um, one of the techniques for removing color tint from images using the eyedropper tool and playing with numbers. So I'm going to show you how to remove color tints from images using the numbers. So here I'm in Photoshop. I'm in Photoshop CS6. I've got this image opened and obviously the image has a um, slight magenta tint you can see on the skin, especially on the faces of people. So I'm going to jump into eyedropper tool. You can just press I on the keyboard or you can find it here, eyedropper tool. Okay. For the sample size, choose anything but point sample. I'm going to choose 5x5 five five average, that should be fine. Sample or layers, not important in this case because I'm on a background layer anyway. Okay. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click here to put a point on the skin and the info panel will open automatically. And if we look on the numbers here, you can see the red, green and blue. The red is the highest, it's very high, it's 132. Green is 104 and blue is 81. Let's put one more sampling point, maybe here on the table okay and again red is much higher than green and blue right so here's what I'm going to do now I'm going to go into adjustments panel okay and I'm going to click on the uh, let's see hue and saturation adjustment I'm sorry exposure the wrong adjustment uh, let me just bend that okay Right, so I'm going into Hue and Saturation, or just click on it. In Hue and Saturation Adjustment, I'm just going to move it out so I can see the info panel at the same time. I'm going to position it here. I'm going to click on this icon here on the pointer finger. I'll move the cursor over this sampling point here, and I'm going to click, hold the mouse button down. Now I'm moving left and right. And if you look on the info panel, Notice how the colors change, how the values change. The red is going down. Okay, so now it's 125, 120, 119. What's happening here is I'm reducing the saturation. Okay. But what I want to do in here is I don't really want to decrease the saturation, I want to play with the colors. So I'm going to close the hue and saturation, just going to bin it, and I'll show you another technique. I'm going to use the curves instead. So I'm going to click on curves. Right. In this drop down menu here, I'm going to target red channel. Okay. And once again I'm going to click on this one here. Okay. Oh I'm sorry, I need to click on this icon first. <laughs> I'm going to click on this point here. I'm going to move it down and first reducing the reds in the image. I'm looking at the numbers. Okay, the red is going down. Okay. I know it's getting a bit red. I'll leave it for now. Now I'm going to change the channel to blue. I'm going to do the same here. I'll just reduce the I'm going to increase the blues. And you can see what happens with the image, obviously. So I'm going to reduce the blues. I'll switch back to reds. I'm going to bring a bit more reds in here. It's okay if it's a bit higher than green and blue, but it shouldn't be too high. That looks about right. Yeah, let's compare the before and after. So I'll click on the eye icon here. That's before and that's after. Okay, so that's how you can use the curves for adjusting images by numbers.